Los Angeles, California. The city of Angels is one of the most easily recognized cities in the world. Home to Disneyland, Hollywood, and Venice Beach, it's also home to some of the country's top talent, and this year is no exception. Just a couple of miles from downtown, you'll find Loyola High School, the oldest high school in Orange County. When visitors first pull up, they might think they've arrived at an Ivy League school, from the well-manicured grounds to the historical buildings. It doesn't take one long to realize that Loyola is a special place. While the education is second to none, it's the football team that has the locals talking, thanks in large part to senior tailback Anthony Barr. Barr is a senior and considered one of the top prospects in the country. He was like walking at eight months old and he had a football in his arms all the time. You know, even when he was crawling, there was always a football right there with him. So it was kind of, he was born to play football. And when he was old enough to play Pop Warner, it was, um, the first level was flag as a matter of fact. There were no pads, so I thought, well, how bad can that be? And he was seven years old and we threw him out there. And he was phenomenal, you know, at seven years old. And there was no way I was going to take that away from him. It was such a great experience for him. I, I wanted to play basketball. Growing, when I was seven, uh, basketball is my big passion. I, I love playing basketball. But uh, she's like, why not try flag football? I mean, your dad played it. I think you really enjoy it. So I went out, I was like, OK, why not? And you know, it was very, I was very successful. And uh, look, I'm here now. And so I, I can give a lot of credit to her. Barr's mom, Laurie, is the principal of nearby St. Paul High School. Last season faced an interesting dilemma when she was faced with cheering for her son or her school. Um, this opportunity opened up and the first person I talked to about it was my son. And the first thing he said was, Mom, Loyola plays St. Paul. You can't go there. And she was torn, uh, obviously. She wanted them to win, she wanted me to win, but I mean, I guess there could only be one winner. Uh, we ended up winning, and she was happy that I did well, but kind of sad that they lost. Barr led his team to a 42-21 victory and led all rushers with 209 yards on 31 carries. From the very beginning, Anthony Barr stood head and shoulders above his classmates, and Loyola head coach Jeff Karen knew he had something special on the first day of football practice. Walked out on the freshman field, and he's a head and a half taller than everybody, and uh, he's you know, a second faster than just about everybody, and uh, he just had that kind of that magic that you see. And I don't think you had to know much about football and figure that principle out. That magic translated into 1,980 yards rushing and 20 touchdowns as a junior. Simply put, he's a man amongst boys, and at 6'3", he's a load to bring down. Barr dreams of playing in the NFL someday, and teammates think he compares very favorably to a bruising running back that currently plays in the Big Apple. He's unique in his own style because I, he hasn't really yet developed the mentality to just completely run over people. And, but I mean, if anybody, I think it'd be Brandon Jacobs uh, for the Giants because both of them are six foot four. You know, no one ever thought that they would be running back. So he'll be elusive, he's big, he knows how to run with his body. He runs very low for someone that's six foot four. Those who know him best will tell you that despite being one of the best players in the country, Barr carries himself as a true gentleman. And when you're being recruited by a who's who of powerhouse college programs, it's hard not to let all the hype go to your head. He's obviously a top athlete. His mom is an outstanding person, comes from a great family, and they, uh, they have their priorities in just the right order. Very supportive of, of him, of us, of what we're trying to accomplish here. It's not all about wins and losses, all those things. So it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty neat deal. For all his standout qualities, which are many, he's also someone who really is a team player and works with the other kids to make sure that we're successful. Yeah. Little There's little doubt that Anthony Barr is as college ready as any athlete in America. And he's quick to point out that the diverse campus at Loyola has played a big part in his development as a person and an athlete. Once again, he can thank his mom for that. He's a competitive person on the field. And I knew that if he went anywhere an institution that would let him slack off, he could. And I didn't want him to be in that environment. He's in an environment that pushes him daily to be the best individual. Um, secondly, I'm, I'm a single mom, and uh, his dad's all the way across the country. He, he's involved um, in his life, but he's in a home without a father. And it was important for me that he was in a school that was male-dominated. He, need he needed to learn how to be a young man and grow up to be a good man. And I felt that that school could give that to him. 